What's going on everybody? It's Omar X Charity bringing you yet another video. And we are so excited to be recording because today we're bringing y'all the juice. The juice, yeah. Mm. Let me get some No man, this juice is for them. <laughs> okay. So this juice that Charity is referring to are our little methods that we use to uh, make the Christian life a little bit more exciting and um, ultimately more enjoyable. Yeah, methods as they relate to the type of music that we listen to on a daily basis. Um, even the forms of entertainment we choose to pick up and read or even watch on TV. Um, we even like to monitor our social media intake because what we found is that when we're not monitoring these things, it becomes so much easier to like forget or just choose not to spend time with God um, or read the Word on a daily basis. Yeah, because everyone knows you're supposed to read the Bible every single day. But let's be honest, that can get kind of boring unless... Unless what? Okay. Unless you download the Bible app and start the Taylor University Bible Club. It's a 365 day plan that cohesively weaves together the Old Testament and the New Testament um, in a way that makes reading the Bible a lot easier to understand. Um, it's a lot more entertaining and you learn a lot more this way. And we take advantage of the fact that you can invite an accountability partner to the plan. I know, um, so sometimes I'll just be doing my thing that day and I maybe have forgotten to read the Bible. And so say Omar, you know, has read his word and his excerpt for the day. I'll get a notification immediately when he's done reading it. And I'm like, oh no, Omar's read his and I haven't read mine. Let me get on it. And then I'll get my check for the day. Um, and then of course, if you don't read it that day, then you start get you start to get left behind. So you don't finish the Bible in a year. And also, if your partner is like reading the Bible every day and you're not, then like that just makes you look bad. And I'm competitive, <laughs> so I'm like, oh no, I mean, I'm you, reading this word. You, you wouldn't like completely be left behind. I mean, you can read like two or three in a day if you wanted to. Like you can still yeah, move forward. True, so yeah. like you can still catch up, but it's it's a lot more work. So I would try to. Yeah. It just helps you to pace yourself. So another app that we use almost daily is the Streetlights app. And so basically these well-known hip-hop artists came together and they recorded themselves uh, reading the Old Testament and New Testament. Um, and you guys might have actually heard of some of them. I know there's Joseph Solomon's up there and uh, Taylor Gray and just some other guys. And basically they recorded themselves over hip hop instrumentals and beats. I don't know, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, a good way to, to listen to the Bible on the go. So like, with whether you're in the car, if you're working out, anything like that. Um, the fact that they're reading it over hip hop beats makes it all the more um, entertaining, um, enjoyable. Um, so, you know, you're listening to music while um, reading or listening to the Bible. And it's not distracting or anything. Um, like I said, it's just instrumentals. They have no excuse. Yeah. They make it so fun just to listen to the Word of God. Like you literally have no excuse just to make, you know, engaging in the Word more routine for you. Yeah. And then, and then thinking back to what we were talking about the Bible, um, I personally read the Bible or um, like read the Bible app on my plan or whatever while I'm still listening to the audio uh, version in the Streetlights Bible. So um, for me personally, it makes it more um, understanding. It's easy for me to, to um, <clears throat> easy for me to, to um, remember it if I'm seeing it and hearing it at the same time. So that's just, it's another cool way to uh, make reading the Bible a lot easier as well. And I do mine different. Like I'll read the word and then I use it to kind of reinforce what I've read. So I'll read first and then I'll listen later. So mm -hmm. do it however you want to do it, you know? <laughs> exactly. I'm listening to that new Taylor Gray. You fix your face, woman. Um, we're in the middle of doing a video. Can okay. We finish the video first. I guess we can. Attitude is staying. <laughs> Next, we're going to share with y'all some very lit artists that we listen to. Like, this is who we like listen to every day. Um, okay, so let's begin. We have Jackie Hill Perry, really dope female rapper. We have No Malice, um, Taylor Gray, his brother Kristen Gray, Alex Faith, Toby Wigway. I love Toby Wigway. Shout out to you, Fat. <laughs> Swoop and Social Misfits Club. I don't even know who Fat is. Doesn't matter. I know who she is.
Hey y'all. Fat little Beyonce. Get twisted Sundays. Look. When you do you and I do me, everybody wins. I try my best not to judge cause everybody sins. Folks say I'm godly cause boss, I put forth and body him. And here's some fat Beyonce, this beat get body then. Two minutes or less, my doorsteps will lead you straight to heaven. I mold you like corsets and use forceps to pluck a blessing. Straight out the eye of a demon, you can't deny I'm a beacon. For those who doubt so Friday third, I am residing the deep end. Ooh. Where we all was going Might not be a crown on your head But hell, we all got the ones Then I saw that brick and prod us And Loki got us To keep us divided from our flesh In hopes that we don't conform To the ways of the world I love the ways of my girl She get to praying And angels swoop down And drape her in pearls Ooh. Yeah, I'm lying But I feel like it I talk to God But I'm about to cop A concealed license Cause I'm from the city Where styrofoam Cause we real violent And real titans And real vikings Be out here real violent. Oh, we got Dre Murray KB Tragic Hero Mali music with Craig, D1, and any video. Music that you listen to, that's the soundtrack yeah, for yeah, a lifestyle. Yeah, 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 you yeah, hear me? Yeah. So why do people feel like, oh man, if I'm a black man, a black boy growing up in the hood, or a black person, period, black or brown, I got to listen to hip hop that is riddled with negativity mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and death in it, you know? Mm -hmm. No. So that's when it became real. And I said, yo, I have to make it as D1, mm -hmm. the rapper. I have to make it because I need people to be able to put something in there, especially where I'm from, right, from right, New Orleans, right, Louisiana. Right. I need people to be able to listen to something and say, this stuff is fire. This stuff is catchy. This stuff is lyrical. It's all that. But guess what? It's breathing life into me. Right, you know, right, this is a man of right. God speaking yes. boldly. Yes. You hear me? Yes. Who's in? It's somebody fault, we gotta figure it out. Gotta fight the problem, cause it ain't good. Not There's some, look, they dropped those. It's a heavy hit, but she. <laughs> I was gonna say, they, they dropped that heavy heat. <laughs> heavy heat. Heat on my feet. Oh, okay. Can I say that? <laughs> heat on my feet. Anyways, check them out. You'll thank us later. Those are just a few of the artists that we listen to. We listen to a ton of others. If you check these out, you like them and you want to get with us to, you know, be more informed about, you know, the hip hop gospel world, then you know where to find us. <laughs> <laughs> you really, you can't go wrong with any of these artists. Like, it's a lot of, like, their messages are really, really positive. And a lot of them refer more to the Bible, like Jackie Hill Perry, like she takes the Bible and she uses the word and all her verses is really sick. Whereas No Malice, I feel like he's more of like a, he, he definitely refers to the Bible a lot, but he's like more of like a positive uh, sort of rapper. Okay, and finally, one other thing that has significantly helped, I think both of us in our walk with God, has been getting heavily involved in Christian fellowship groups. Um, we were both really engaged in uh, the group chats that we have on our phones. I think we have like three or four separate ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, we, we both are engaged in small groups at church. Like we try not to just go to church every Sunday, but we try to be there like as often as possible because in doing this, you find that you're able to establish relationships with both you know, your brothers and your sisters. And you find that <coughs> You find that when you are in need of encouragement, that you know you have so many people around you, you have that community around you just to pick you back up, and in turn, you're able to do that for others. And so it's perfect just to be able to find people with similar mindsets as you, um, because trying to do this alone, y'all, like, it's it's a feat. Like, ultimately, it's very challenging to try to do this alone. I actually personally believe, like, the devil wants you to try to do this alone so that he can kind of attack you, and when you're um, at your lowest of lows, if you have no one around you, then you're kind of setting yourself up for failure. So I definitely think that is one of the one of the keys. In Ecclesiastes 4 verse 9 to 12, it says, two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm, but how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. Like we always say, we understand that this Christian walk is not always easy. Uh, so we wanted to share a few ways that we remain grounded in God each and every day. And hopefully you'll be able to use it for yourselves and share it with others as well. Absolutely. And so like we always say, we're just trying to help you guys grow as we grow. Stay tuned guys, we'll be back with more videos. Where's my juice? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.